Hi, I'm Bruce Paws from uh, North Jetty Film Productions and Recording Studio here in Eureka, California. And I have a Soundcraft Ghost 24 channel board. I recently experienced some meter bridge issues. And the problem I'm having is one of the uh, three eight channel cards went out. I called Soundcraft up to get a new card and they said they're no longer available, they're obsolete. Everything on this board basically is obsolete. You can, you can get the knobs from different sources, but as far as everything, you can't go out and buy a channel, channel strip card. You have to repair them at component level, and that's where I ended up. Now this is the meter bridge card. And this is what it looks like, it has the eight VU meters. There's three cards like this, and they're swappable. So, um, and right up here in this, I'll, I'll be giving you a close-up of this, but there's two 10-ohm resistors, and they feed this little IC uh, chip here, and it's a dual-op amp, and one of the duals will, one and two run this, three and four run this, and five and six, seven and eight, and each one has a little dual-op amp to run two meter bridges. So I don't know which one is bad because this is grounding out. I put a continuity tester there and I tested the uh, the ICs and they're 072Bs. Um, and I got mine from uh, JRC, which is Japan Radio uh, Circuit or Controls uh, or Company. I don't know. Anyway, they're $1.65 a piece, but what I paid for them, and I'll be showing the repair on that uh, a little later. But this is this is uh, obsolete. You can't buy these anymore, so it's completely... Uh, this is what the meter bridge looks like when taken apart. This is, the, of course, the main... These are the, the main LEDs for the master section here, and then you have... A card there and another card goes there and if you bring it on this side this is the other card so um, that's what I'm working on today it's a rain it's a rainy day in Eureka north north coast of California I live about two miles from the beach and um, so that's about it the other issue I had that will help you out is I had a lockout on my mixing session. A friend came up and recorded, and um, I couldn't mix because the little red light up here that indicates either solo or master, um, or solo and mute button was pushed. Well, I went through and unmuted all the buttons, checked all the lights, and there was no um, lit up lights. Anytime you push one of these PLFs or a a AFL buttons down here, it'll set that light off and it'll lock out your mixing capabilities. Well, I had to, op had to lift it up, open it up, and there's a 40 pin ribbon cable that goes across all these channels. And I had to separately take one off and put it back on, but I took, it, I took them off one at a time until this red light went off and that determined what channel card was was bad. Well, it turned out to be this one right here. Um, it was in the group section, and because these don't have lights, you don't know if they're good or bad. So when I disconnected it from here, I was able to pull the card out. I sprayed some cleaner in there in the switch and, you know, punch it up and down, and it seemed to solve the problem, and I was able to get it unlocked, and I'm in the process of mix mixing the song down now. So in the meantime, I want to get this meter bridge fixed, and I got the parts in. So let's take it over to the uh, microscope, and I'll show you what, uh, what the card is and what's going on with it. Okay, so here's the close-up of the 10-ohm resistor that fried. This was burnt. You can see some of the burnt residue there. Um, this is a positive 17 volts, and this is the negative 17 volts that goes up here to the 072B quad, uh, dual op amp that runs uh, 
these LEDs here. And uh, the signal from the um, output of here runs that bar graph LEDs. Now this is pin um, this is pin 8 and this is pin 4. This is a positive voltage and this is the negative voltage, 17 volts. And this is a positive input and a negative input from your channel strip signal. And this is the output, likewise with these. And this is output 2. And uh, anyway, I think this is bad because I have when I put up the uh, continuity tester, I get a buzz here, and I get a buzz here, which is supposed to be, but I shouldn't have a buzz here, and I shouldn't have a buzz here, because those are the inputs. So something shorted in here, or somewhere, one of the other uh, three uh, units uh, could be bad. The, the, these are diodes, and I check those. Uh, resistors, that kind of thing. So that's the close-up of, of the board and according to the schematic this could be cooked. And I also checked it on a, a known good one on one of the other boards and it, it works fine. There's no buzzing here or here and only here and pin 8 and pin 4. So let me go ahead and work on this and I'll be back. Okay, upon further investigation, I took this op amp off. That's an 072B. And I tested it off board and it was good. And um, this pin to this pin are grounded because this is the plus 17 volts and uh, it was grounded so that's what blew out the resistor so i went along and i checked all the transistors and diodes i checked all these to make sure these weren't shorted out because these are like your bypass diodes and all that stuff and then um, i came up to the capacitors and i checked these and these were okay i wasn't getting any continuity on on any of them. Uh, these are 10 microfarad AVX capacitors, 25 volt. Um, the 106, the 10 is the reference value of the capacitor, and the 6 is the multiplier. So that's 10 microfarads or 1, 1 million picofarads. And the E stands for 25 volts. So you can find this all on the YouTube has a real good thing uh, on this stuff. These are production date, uh, production. This is like a production year. And this could be the 2 of 2 February 2nd. Um, or this was, can't be 22 because we're in 22. And this board was bought in 2005. Anyway. And that's the uh, that's the code, but yeah, I learned all this stuff off of YouTube. Very interesting stuff. So as I went along, there's there's eight meters on this card, and I got to the last one, and lo and behold, this one had continuity through it, and there shouldn't be any continuity uh, according to the good board I tested against it. Uh, so I pulled it off and once I did that it cleared to short so there's no more grounding and this one is okay here so I ordered 15 of these little critters and uh, Should be getting them in in about a week from Mauser and um, I do have the part number if anyone's interested in it. It's a um, 581 TRJC 106M0250RRJ. And they're, they're, if you buy 10 or more, they're 92 cents a piece. So I'm getting like 15 of them because you never know what else is going to blow up or burn out or whatever. So hopefully that'll solve my problem. And when I get back to you, um, 
I'll hopefully have it repaired and we'll install it and see what happens. All right. Have a good day. We'll talk to you later. This is the capacitor that shorted out. And it's a, uh, next to uh, C19. And it's uh, the ground is the negative 17. It shorted out from the positive, causing the uh, resistor 109 to, to burn up, literally. And um, so uh, R109 is down here, and that's the one that cooked, causing the card to go out. And uh, I thought it was an IC uh, op amp, dual op amp, but it, it turned out it wasn't. And uh, so once I replaced this and put it in the board, it actually worked. So um, it's a 10 microfarad. Uh, 25 volt um, AVX capacitor. Hey, I'm back with good news. The meter card is now working. Check it out. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I'm so happy I got that card back. And it's all because of D18 capacitor, or not D18, I'm sorry. I keep getting that mixed up, C18. Eey. Anyway, I just wanna also give a shout out to Richard Zyre. Richard Zyre from Rocket Science Audio in LA. He has a nice studio down there, and he does maintenance on his board, which I saw his video, and I decided to, uh, you know, open it up. I had this open once before to replace the master pot because it went bad, but I also had to open it up because I had that other issue with the sticky button and got that solved. Now I got my meter bridge back, and I'm elated, so... I hope this video uh, helps um, kind of figure out different things. Um, I uh, would have had it done sooner, but my laptop LCD monitor uh, was broken by my cat. And I had to order a new one and I put that in, got that going, because I'm editing the video on, uh, on the uh, laptop. I use Vegas Pro 18. And uh, I have my F8, I do my audio track and I sync up with the clapper board and because I, I don't like the mic and the camera. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want. I'll try to post some other videos on fixing things. I got to work on a pickup tomorrow on a Toyota Tundra. They put uh, two air, secondary air check valves and you have to take the intake manifold off to get to them. And they also bury the starter in the valley of the, the V8. The starter is mounted. And to replace the starter, you gotta take the intake manifold off as well as the air pump and the diverter valve. So that's gonna be a, a good project for tomorrow. And uh, anyway, thanks a lot and enjoy. I hope this helps out. Bye.